It is all through the month of July that the comet New Wise was visible to the Northern Hemisphere observers, especially in the UK. Comet New Wise moved through the sky from the northeast to northwest and now has passed closest distance to Earth. We are waiting for something spectacular also to join. And that is that the Earth will pass through the debris of another comet. This is interesting because as we know comets are made of sand and ice. And as they melt uh, during the closure to the sun, they uh, scatter this debris into the, uh, into the orbit around the sun. Every comet will leave a trail of this kind of debris on its course. They can be massive shootouts like this one that you see is a jet. And multiple jets will release a lot of these particles in the course of the movement of the comet. Even long after the comet has passed, this debris will be moving in its orbit. They form something what we call as meteoroid stream, or simply meteor stream. When the Earth encounters these meteoroid streams, they form meteors in our night sky. We can see them. They appear as if they are coming from one direction. All of them. The meteor stream for July 28 and 29 is called Delta Aquarius. They are most probably the debris of dust left by the comet Machholtz. It appears that the Earth crosses this meteor stream in the Delta Aquarius star region. It was to wake up around 2 to 4 a.m. and observe this meteor shower. Remember, you can see with a pair of binoculars the comet New Wise, which is also fading. Comet New Wise is now located under the Big Dipper, the Ursa Major. This star chart you can see is positioned up to the August 3rd.